good afternoon slash evening. We are just leaving the hotel room for a very exciting night, aren't we Del? Yes, it's food tour time. Just waiting at the very front of our hotel for our guides to arrive. We have two guides to take us on a motorbike food tour this evening. Our main guide or slash host is uh, Haley, I believe the name is. And do we have a name for the second? Not yet, we'll find out when they arrive to come pick us up. But essentially we've got an eight course dinner or an eight stop dinner here in Ho Chi Minh. Course side, eight stops. I think we're having samples. Yeah. I don't know how it works. Eight, stops, eight different types of food slash dessert. We'll figure it out when we start. But I cannot wait. We've half starved ourselves this evening. We had a little snack for lunch with beers, but I am quite hangry. I've already yelled at him like a half dozen times already. He's just annoyed the crap out of me. I'm hangry. Cannot wait for this food tour to start. But it's all going to be local cuisines, local Vietnamese dishes. I think there was a Thai dish on there as well or something? I can't remember. I can't remember from the menu. But man, I am looking forward to it. <laughs> only just to eat something but we're gonna film every last bite and show you guys what this amazing city has to offer as far as food is concerned and maybe later after that we might even have a couple of drinks who knows let's get stuck into it First time on a bike in Ho Chi Minh. We've had we've had this before. When we go, every time we go to a cafe in the morning, we'll get a coffee, and every time they give us one of these yeah, without right. coffee. Mouth yeah. So it's a student student beer. Yeah, student yeah. beer. That's what it's called. Because it looks like beer, students <laughs> can drink it. <laughs> well, we only we only did motorbikes in I think Nimbin and where else? We had motorbikes somewhere else. Da Nang. Da Nang. Yeah. Yeah. But we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do this, this traffic now. <laughs> we have the craziest traffic in Vietnam already. Not even Hanoi, I can't talk with you. Yeah. <laughs> you can drive here, you can drive oh. everywhere in the world. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't, I, I can't. Yeah, we've been to yeah. Thailand many, many times. And we always have bikes. And even that is a little crazy. Dude. Come on, we're going to go outside. Oh, that's it, that's it. So have you both tried pho before? We had pho, yeah. but I think different types. Yes. Um, first pho we tried in Hanoi, it didn't come like this. It was a, it was a small bowl of soup, like a, a cup fried of noodle. soup. Oh, like yeah. fried noodles. Yeah. And fried, right. yeah, separate. Actually, because this is not pho. Yeah, it's not. Okay. It's also rice noodle with beef, but it's totally different from pho. And I have a chopstick, please. <laughs> Sorry. So, if you look in here, like pho noodle, mm -hmm. it's flat and it's thin, uh, okay. right? But this one, it's round yeah. and it's thick. So we call it bun. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Bun. It's different from the pho noodle. Also we have beef, but also inside we have different toppings such as pork sausage and crab cake. Crab cake? Yeah, crab cake. What makes this one stand out compared to pho, it's the broth bit. Right. Because the broth for pho, we don't use a lot of spices. But for this one, we bought it with the beef bone for a very long time, like at least eight hours. Yep. And then add a lot of spices and even cook it with lemongrass. So if you try the broth, you will see it's very flavorful. Yep. Okay. So with this noodle, we can
can eat it with this one. It is red morning glory. Red morning glory. Yeah, morning glory here and bean sprout. Yep. So you can put this inside your bowl. Do you like it spicy? I like spicy. I like <laughs> this one for you. There are two types of spicy that we have here. So two types of spicy. Yep. This one it's like it's not bright red, but it's pale. Right. In Vietnamese we call this dangerous chili. Dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> because it's very dangerous. <laughs> this one will make you sweat a lot. And this one is the chili flake. Yeah. But we fried it with oil and lemongrass. It's dry? Yeah, dry. Oh, yeah. So it's less spicy compared to this one. Yeah. So you can pick your fire. Dangerous? Dangerous chili or just normal <laughs> chili flakes? Start of the mark, dangerous out of the mark. <laughs> Usually okay. you can like drop two pieces of this chili into your bowl to see okay. how it I think just one. Yeah. I might try two, just two. Let's try two. I like no, I like I like I like my food spicy. Yeah, for him. Give it inside. For him, okay. Try the broth. Just try the broth. Nope. Lost the face. Wow. Is it dangerous? No, no, no. No. It's just beef bone in the broth. Yeah, beef bone. Wow. Beef bone and lemongrass mm. and a lot of spice. I can taste the, the beef bone. It's good. That's really that's rich flavor too. Just the broth. That's right. The broth is actually very like stronger mm. than compared to far. Mm. So what was this dish called again? It was bung ba. Bung ba. Yeah. So bung is this kind of rice noodle, round and thick, yeah. and ba is the beef. I, I don't, I don't. Mm. So beef noodle soup. Bun ba. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Bun ba. Yeah. Let's try. I'm having, I'm having the taste of the broth first. Mm. I won't go the danger one. It's too, it's too early in the day for the danger. Uh, okay. one. It's too early. It's like 5:30. But actually, we only eat this danger chili with noodles. Wow. Yeah. Because it's too too spicy for that. Only add spicy to the broth. So this is where the only place that you can try this one. So what? We're gonna try the danger chili. The danger chili. You have to try it with the noodles. Why why only with the noodles and not something else? Because it won't be with anything else, it's only yeah. for the broth. Oh. Right. With anything else and a strong taste, you like blow away the other taste. So only for noodles. Morning. Right, this time's got a chili in it. I'm kind of scared now. It's only a bit of dry stuff, it's fine. It's okay, we can refill this one for you. <laughs> Holy! I told you! <laughs> I told you! How much did you have? Oh, uh, this one's the danger one. <laughs> now that bit was fine. The broth, after I added the chili though, it was... It had some bite to it. Okay, so that's the other difference. The fur has the flat noodles. Yes. This one has the round noodles. Okay. I've seen Morning Glory served like this before. Shredded. Usually, it's the whole, whole thing. With slurping food and slurping soup, is it considered uh, rude or not? Actually, when it comes to eating in Saigon, we don't really care. We don't care. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you just enjoy your food the way you want. Yeah. But when you go to the north, you may want to pay attention a little bit. The so yeah. north is different. The North people are a little bit more conservative yep. and traditional. So there are like rules on the table when you eat. But for the Saigon people, which is very open, chill. Yep. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's good, just enjoy it the way you want. Perfect. There nice. we go. We always argue about this. <laughs> I have to learn how to make this. <laughs> Apparently this is the biggest 
flower market in all of Saigon slash Ho Chi Minh. charcoal fire but what makes this different is the leaves that we're gonna eat with it so you probably have have seen that Vietnamese people we like to eat greens yeah. like own kind of leaves we just really love leaves so this is Vietnamese basil okay. Vietnamese basil you can find it anywhere but in Vietnam wow. so we're gonna have this with the vegetable spicy chili sauce Belly up the back there too. It's different. Yeah, and this one as well. The... It's also warm. Yeah. Don't have that food like tuna cake inside of a plate yeah. or with bowl or like shred pork. And here's the potato. Wow. 
with that, that, that that's like fresh it's very fresh yeah that's crazy so what's in the in the bowl in this one uh, this one or the, the back yeah. the red one it's the special butter sauce oh okay i thought that was the pate oh no <laughs> So pâté, it's originally goose liver, yep. like from French cuisine, right? But yep. it's so expensive. So for us, we only have like pork liver or chicken liver, no goose liver. This is more a chicken. Oh, wow. So that whole thing. Get a shot of the salad there as well. So this is so that's the, um, the pate. Yeah, that's a big that's a big layer of pate. That's we, we, I don't think we've had this before. When we've had banh mi so far, we've never had. Uh, well, I don't think we've had any. Oh really? Very. Yeah. Very thin layer. Oh yeah. yeah. Usually it's very thin because those those pate they have like to buy it from somewhere, not handmade like this one. So they're very generous with mm. the pate. Definitely didn't have any pate in the other one. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a what you make that they spread it on, but super no, no, no. thin. I was just saying it's um it's a butter sauce. No, that's the, the butter. The white part is the butter. The white stuff's the butter. Yeah. That's what I was getting confused with. Definitely not had this. We haven't had it that fat, but we've had it. I think it's made, it's, you know, because they give you a very big layer, it's not because the filling is different. Because pate actually usually only comes with the chicken filling or the pork filling. If you buy like the beef filling, they won't give you pate, but it's a very special soy sauce. <laughs> of Barn Me right there. I'm gonna pop a link in the description below where to find this. Insane. So they have a, um, so it just translates to Vietnamese pancake. Yes, yeah, sizzling pancake. Sizzling. Yes, yeah, sizzling. So for this, they just fry it, so it's still very hot. Yeah. We're gonna let it rest for a moment. In the meantime, we will try the vegetables. Sure. Do you know this one? I thought it was. It looks kind of like mint, but it's not. I know it's not mint. But... Yeah, this big one is perilla mint. I think we had a smaller version of this. It looks like kind of herb. Mm. Because this is a very common veggie, so you can see in Vietnam. So I think you have tried a lot actually. So you're good with this one. Okay, how about this one? A very cute one. Is this the basil? No, it's no. not. So, it's a heart shape, right? It's very cute. And you have to be careful with whatever that is cute. So with this one, you should smell it first, then give it a taste. Okay. There you go. So for us Vietnamese, we think the smell very fishy. Fish? Yeah. Okay. And it's not a good smell. Mm. So a lot of people don't like this one. We call it fish mint. Fish mint. Fish mint. So you're good with it? Yeah. I want to say lettuce, but I know I'm going to be wrong. Yeah, because this one is lettuce. <laughs> yeah. This one is not. 
quite different. Yeah. It's all green but different. So a big jump at this two. Yeah. Yeah. So a big jump at this two. Oh, 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 oh. It's coming, it's coming. Wasabi. It's like wasabi. That's right. Okay. Put the smaller one on a bigger one. Like that's, that. that's it? Just small on the big? Yeah. Done. Okay, we're okay. We're okay this. Oh. So you can add this inside of your sauce. Sure. One more. I'll give it a taste first. A oh, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, if you. A little bit to begin with. I was expecting a bit of burst, but it wasn't. <laughs> Thank you team for joining us on for all these tasty treats <laughs> and uh, that's the end of our food tour for tonight <laughs> and we have a very special thank you to our guides ah. oh, we have Hayley special shot. Yay. <laughs> and Kat <Hi>. Come on. <laughs> Come on. and what is your what is your company called what, what is what the, the tour company a tour company? Oh, it's Yes Ride. Yeah, Yes Ride. Tour. Saigon, it's Yes, yes Ride. ride. Yeah. So if you Saigon, guys want to book yes a tour, ride. just like this. Yes. We'll leave the information in the description down below. Nice. <laughs> Always say yes to ride. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You can press subscribe down below. Woo. Give it a like. Yeah. Hola, mom. <laughs> and because you're you're on TikTok too. So what's your TikTok? If people wanna. Uh, you find can you. find Are You In on TikTok and give it a like. We do like. English communication studying, so give it a follow. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's a Vietnamese name. <laughs> How to spell it? Hun Như. Yeah. Subscribe, Hun <laughs> Như.